Okay, calm down. I already see so many people in the comments probably typing away. Ow, man, bro. TikTok is poggers. Bro, shut the- At this point, everybody and their grandma knows about this app, all right? There's no need for me to sit here and explain what TikTok is for a minute straight. A lot of people kind of just blindly use it without really knowing what it's doing to them. Like, TikTok, you kind of just open it, and you're just flooded with instantaneous dopamine hits. Like, as soon as you scroll down on a video, another one pops up. Like, I literally see people walking around in the hallways sometimes just on their phone scrolling through tiktok as they're walking in the hallway or sometimes people do it as they're driving don't tell me it got you that hooked to the point where you're willing to crash the whip that's insane sometimes i kind of sit down and think like man what has tiktok really done to this generation like it kind of it kind of fucked everything up i'm not gonna lie a lot of people say use tiktok in moderation but sometimes it's kind of hard to use an app like that in moderation where the algorithm is purposely made to keep you hooked and on the app sometimes I catch myself. I'm like, oh shit, I'm still on here. And that's why I just decided to delete it. And for me, I just felt like it was wasting time. Sometimes you even, you go on there for hours at a time and you don't even realize it. You open your phone and you created this habit for yourself where you just constantly end up in a loop where you just give yourself instant dopamine hits. And sometimes you go on there without even realizing it since it's just a habit at this point. And going on TikTok really doesn't do anything for you. Most of the time, you're just going to end up forgetting what you even see saw on TikTok. Like, honestly, I don't remember half the shit I've seen on TikTok. And every time I did get off there, I kind of just felt like I was in a worse mood than before, and I kind of just wasted hours of my time. And that thought just pops up in the back of my mind. Shit, what the hell am I doing with my life? And my attention span has just gotten so bad over the years. Like, I don't know what the hell it was. I don't know if it was just because of TikTok or just social media in general, but I literally can't even pay attention in class now. I can't even go a minute without spacing out. And I'm I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that because apparently the average human attention span is less than a goldfish. It's around seven seconds, which is why I see YouTube shorts everywhere with family guy on the top, subway surfers in the bottom left, and then maybe, maybe a nice little satisfying video in the bottom right, and then pop-up text. It's hard to get people to pay attention. The average view duration on this video is probably not even going to be 50%. Like, let's be honest. In videos like that, it's just so easy to grab your attention because there's so much going on. Like you got Peter and his ball sack chin in a top screen and below that you got subway surfers and so on and so forth people can kind of just pick and choose what they want to pay attention to and they can switch it at any point there's so many things to pay attention to hence why these videos work and if that's something that you pay attention to oh you bet your ass tiktok's gonna keep feeding them to you they know more about you than you think and it's really scary there's so many conspiracies surrounding it that i really don't want to get into right now i feel like that's something i should definitely leave for a more serious channel like sometimes you just be sitting in there and they were like, damn, how did they know? And that's exactly how they keep you addicted. And now as for people who create content on the app, it's honestly way easier to get you hooked to the app. Kind of always waiting for that next like or that next notification that somebody follow you. It's like most social media apps, but on steroids pretty much. Especially if your TikTok's getting a lot of engagement, like the amount of pop-ups on your screen are insane. Even when I was in school, man, I would see people making TikTok videos in class. Like, bro, can't you just wait till you get home? Like, people were that addicted to it to the point where they would be, like, making TikTok videos in the middle of class. Like, I was in school back when the Renegade was popular, and, oh, you, you bet your ass, every girl and their mama was like, girls, come on, oh let's hit the God. Renegade. Let's go, queen. How does my hair look right now? Or I just walk into the school bathroom to see some motherfuckers dancing to Out West by Travis Scott. Bro, you don't know how much secondhand embarrassment I'm feeling in that moment when I catch a dude doing an Out West TikTok dance. Like he's staring at me like I caught him doing coke or something. But a lot of people are kind of just driven by trends and internet clout and shit like that. And they're like, damn, I want a piece of the pie. I mean, shit, you could do that if you want. But personally, I just think that's a bit embarrassing to do TikTok dances in the middle of the school day, bro. Personally, I'm deleting the app off my phone and I advise you to do the same. But man, some people be doing the most for clout. Like, it's crazy. Can we just talk about the, the bathroom lick trend for a second? Let's just say I'm glad I wasn't in school for this one. Like, thanks to TikTok, you couldn't even use the bathroom. It encouraged people to steal stuff for clout. And I'm sure people that were in school could tell me every time you walk into a bathroom, you'd hear this shit playing. Hey, man, you 
Or sometimes you could even hear it from outside the door and you'd be like, nah, fuck this. I'm not even gonna try using the bathroom. I already know half the toilets are gone in there. Might as well take a leak outside at this point. But man, it gets much worse. The extremes people will go to for clout. Some people be doing the weirdest challenges out there and sometimes even putting their own lives at risk. And it really is insane what some people will do. Like some people even fake having disorders on TikTok just for some extra attention that, that they don't clearly get at home. Like, bro, you're just being so disrespectful to people who actually have these disorders and you're just going out of your way. Basically mock them and make fun of them. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Sometimes the likes can kind of really get in people's heads and just drive them to do the worst. And the fact that these dumb things even become trends in the first place, it just shows how brainwashed some people really are on this app. And which some people might not take my advice here, which is cool. But, you know, if you do decide to use the app, that's why you just have to know what it's doing to you. Just be aware of that. I can't tell you how many times I've been like, yeah, man, I'm gonna quit TikTok. And then I just come back like a fucking vape addict fiending for more, bro. Literally. If you feel what I'm saying, it's kind of borderline on that level of an addiction. People who vape, they kind of just habitually vape. And same with people who scroll on TikTok all the time. They just habitually do it. I cannot tell you in the last couple of years how many times I've been at the function. And we've all been NPCs on our phone just scrolling on TikTok. TikTok. And as soon as we all realize, we're like, oh shit, we just wasted like 30 minutes. So TikTok's not only taking away from time in our personal lives, it's taking away from the time we can spend with others. Although social media claim to like connect you with people, it really takes away the connection. If you really sit there and think about it. Although it kind of disconnects you, sometimes it can help you relate with people since a lot of people use the app. But personally, I just don't think it's worth it. And what kills me the most, man, is the amount of late nights I've been up scrolling and scrolling and scrolling bro all right man one more video and then i'm gonna go to bed uh actually yeah maybe like a couple more i'll go to bed in like 10 minutes and then three hours pass and it's like 2 a.m and your ass is still up scrolling on tiktok you gotta get up at 6 a.m for school what the hell are you doing and that's the cycle i fall into all the time and it sucks and it's not just on tiktok sometimes it's on youtube as well and then that 3 a.m motivation hits you before bed bro i'm gonna solve world hunger tomorrow. I'm gonna donate so much to charity. I'm gonna wake up, go beast mode tomorrow in the gym. I got this. Uh, uh, 6 a.m. I'm going back to sleep. Then you miss like the first half of the school day. That's just what happens. And then when you wake up, you get on TikTok again. And then you struggle to even get out of bed. I am so guilty of this one. It's just unbelievable. Sometimes I would wake up and be in bed for three hours watching TikTok. Just mindlessly scrolling. It just pulls you away from your goals and aspirations. Whether it's you want to be a good student in school or hell, you want to run a YouTube channel. For starting off fresh as a content creator, TikTok can be a great place to get your audience from, as you can easily blow up in a week if your content's entertaining enough. There's just so many downsides to the app, you just need to be really careful. In conclusion, TikTok is boof, bro. Delete that shit. Thank you guys for the support. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. I'll follow some of you guys back. Want another video to watch? Watch this video on screen. Anyways, I'm out. Bye.